Hey up again, um, right here doing the third video blog for the um, filmmaking in the engaged curriculum project, um, reflecting back on all the interviews that I've now completed, um, kind of looking back on what I've done so far and looking forward to basically the latter half of the project, which is actually making the film. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a roller coaster. It really has. Um, you know, it's it's the, the the interviews of each each single one has found out something unexpected, which in itself I didn't expect. I thought you know some of them might be going on about the you know things that other people have touched on. They're all kind of intertwined in in their own way, but each one each one has thrown up some kind of personality, some kind of story or anecdote, uh, which I really wasn't expecting, and that's gone better than I could have ever hoped for. Um, every single interview I've done now, be it be it a fifteen twenty minute one, or be you know the the longer ones, which have lasted in some cases well over an hour. Every time I've wanted to kind of carry on, and and you know and speak more and talk more about these things, and quite often I have done if we've had the time. I've I've, I've sat down and you know had a cup of had a, had a longer chat with the people I've been interviewing, and that's been great. Um, Obviously, there's only so much I can put in a film. Uh, when even the shortest interview that I've done, which has been about 20 minutes, is actually longer than the film itself is going to be with all of them in together. Um, it's you know, there's a, there's only so much you can put in, and the longer you make it, the harder it is to kind of encapsulate and properly represent what each of these people are saying and what each you know, each dialogue and each personal narrative actually brings to the fore. Um, so yeah, so the interviews have gone fantastic. Um, I think as that's been going along, I've changed my idea of what I want to do for the film. It's changed a little bit. Um, obviously, it's still going to be a documentary style on that, but I'm looking at ways of of kind of reflecting myself on it as well. So um, I've got a couple of ideas in mind about that, and a couple of ideas that I can kind of integrate myself into the film instead of it just being kind of a you know, uh, maybe a conventional um, or even orthodox documentary um, where it's just kind of the people on the camera and, and maybe a bit of voiceover or whatever. Um, I'm looking at ways that I can actually, as, as a learning technique, that I can reflect on what I've learned myself through the project um, and I've learned a lot, I've learned a hell of a lot. Um, but that's all to come. Um, so yeah, other than the interviews, um, I've been, I think I may have mentioned on the last um, blog, but I'll, I'll mention it again just in case. Um, I went to the archive, uh, to the uh, Barnsley Archives um, at the Town Hall in Barnsley Centre. Um, I've dug up a few photos from there and some other information that's been really helpful. Um, so there's some photos there that I'm going to use in the film, which uh, you know some of them are absolutely stunning. Um, bear in mind that a lot of these photos uh, that were taken during the strike, some of them were done professionally, but a lot of the ones that I've come across, I've been looking at kind of the amateur ones and the you know the ones that maybe necessarily haven't been seen. Um, I mean, there's there's some famous ones that have. Um, I think the most famous one of all. Um, I forgot the name of the woman now, um, but one where a woman's actually been. Um, there, there's a policeman on horseback. Um, anyone who knows, you know, a little bit about the strike will probably have seen that photo. Um, there's a man. Uh, there's a policeman on horseback with a with a baton, um, and there's a woman kind of asking for help, and he looks like he's about to hit her, and it's a really kind of shocking image. Um, I've been kind of trying to dig deeper into ones that maybe haven't been viewed um, by many people. Um, and they have a lot of those at the archive that have been given in as gifts um, by various different people and amateur photographers and some professional ones too. Um, so I'm going to use some of those. I'm going to go back there um, shortly. Now I've done the interviews, I know which photos I want to use. I could have easily done that before uh, and just picked and chose from, from what I had there. Um, but I wanted to be after the interviews were done. I don't want to just use photos for the sake of using photos because it's good or because I like it or whatever. I want it to relate to what I'm actually doing. So now I'm at a stage I can do that. Um, the same can be said for the um, Yorkshire Film Archive that I visited at York. Um, that was... I forgot the date it was now. Um, it wasn't long ago. It was about a week or so ago. Um, and uh, they were fantastic. They have got some fantastic archive footage up there that I'm currently sorting out now. Um, 
hopefully I'll have that in the next few days, um, which is fantastic. They've been they've been great to work with. Um, so yeah, um, again with that, as with the photos, I I could have quite easily picked and chose what I wanted before out of that. Um, but I wanted to do the interviews first and then use them as a way of complementing the personal narratives. I mean, the the um, the actual filming question, um, it's called The Longest Year. Um, it was uh, it was introduced and kind of, um, you know, th there was like a, a, an introduction and an overview from, uh, from Richard Whiteley, um, which, you know, th that was a fantastic film. Um, I mean, there's, there's things I've learned from that itself as well. So, for example, there's certain um, things in that film that I can't use. For example, there's music and things like that that, well, I could use, but I'd have to go through a lengthy process of sorting out the copyright and things like that. Um, so that's been a learning process as well. Um, you know, learning how to use archive footage, how to use it properly, um, stuff like copyright licensing and things like that are all things that I've learned through this that I didn't really know before. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to pick out the bits that I want now, rather than doing it earlier on, um, because I've done the interviews, and because I know what I want to put in, because this isn't going to be, it, you know, the, the archive footage and the audio-visual footage that I'm using, um, other than the interviews, isn't taking primary focus, it's about the personal narratives, I'm using them to kind of complement that, um, so yeah, I think they'll they'll hopefully do that really well. Um, but yeah, I'm um, really looking forward to starting to actually edit the video. Um, it's a challenge. I know it's a challenge, and um, unfortunately, I'm well. well I said unfortunately. It's as fortunate as unfortunate that I'm a perfectionist, um, which means that for me, I'll not be happy with it until I know I've done my absolute best in, in making it as good as, I can, as it can be and even then I might still not be happy um, so yeah, there's a, there's a long couple of weeks ahead um, I'm going to go there later on today actually and actually start doing the um, editing um, so there'll probably be another video blog coming up in a few days um, from the editing suite as well and I'll uh, track my progress up to there hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all be good um, but we'll see but yeah, it's been it's been a brilliant project um, you know, it's it's been a great way of spending summer, really. Um, especially on days like today when it's raining and it's chucking it down outside. Um, you know, while other people, some other people are stuck in, some of my mates are stuck in and not really doing much. You know, I'm I'm doing this, and it's it's been a great opportunity. I just hope that by doing this, I can potentially open it up for people in the future to actually, you know, do it themselves as well, and um, so other people can be as fortunate as I've been. Um, so yeah, and that's about it.